in Cinema 4D. Your viewport is this 3D view right here that gives you a preview of what your finished image is going to look like. Think of it as a preview monitor on set as you're looking through the camera and seeing what your finished animation is going to look like. There are three buttons here which you can use for moving your camera around and the fourth for switching your views. The first button here is your move or pan button and if you click and drag you'll notice that you can move your camera in a plane. If you click and drag left to right you can move your camera forward or backwards in space. Our dolly tool which has the same effect as right clicking on the pan tool. If you click and drag left to right it will allow you to move your view in and out. Now don't click, don't drag up and down even though that seems to be the way it should work it does not work that way so dragging left to right will zoom your camera in. If you right click on this icon and drag left to right, it will adjust the focal length of your, of your lens. It will actually zoom your lens. Or if you click and drag right to left, it will zoom out, distorting your lens, giving you a very wide angle or short uh, focal length. If you do something with your viewport that you don't like, like say getting a really distorted view like this, you might try and hit Command Z or hit Undo. Unfortunately, that won't give you the result you want. It's because you need to choose Edit Undo View, which you can uh, access by hitting Shift Command Z or Shift Control Z on a PC. That'll undo your view. The final uh, camera movement button is this third one right here, which will allow you to rotate or orbit your view. So if you click and drag this, it will rotate your camera around whatever object is currently selected. If there aren't any objects in your scene, like this case right here, it will rotate your camera around the world origin. If I was to add a cube to my scene and move it, and then rotate with it selected, notice that my camera is now pivoting around that cube. If I was to deselect the cube, I'm rotating again around the world origin. Now when working in 3D, it's very important that you always place your object from at least two two-dimensional views so that you know it's accurately placed. Moving objects around in 3D space are not necessarily uh, good ideas. So to access your four-way view, which gives you your two-dimensional views, you can click on this fourth button over here. It will split your view into perspective, top, front, and right. To go into one of these 2D views exclusively, click on its four-way view button. Another way to access this four-way view is to use your middle mouse button. Another way to access the move tool here is to hold down the one key on your keyboard or hold down the alt key or option key on your keyboard and use your middle mouse button. To access zoom, you can use the two key on your keyboard and click and drag or you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. To access rota Rotate, you can use the number 3 key on your keyboard and click and drag, or you can hold down Alt and use your left mouse button. That is an overview of how to use the navigation tools in Cinema 4D.